hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Ruby and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all the tools you need to have if you want to start a sewing project or you want to start sewing as a business so the first thing you'll be needing if you want to start is a sewing machine and I recommend a domestic sewing machine I use new home there are different types of machines you can find out there but why I suggest you start with a domestic machine is that this is a multi-purpose machine it comes with a lot of features that make sewing easy so you can use this machine to sew you can use this to create um, zigzag on your dresses you can use this to make buttonholes you can use this to overlock you know there are so many things you can actually do with this machine you can also get domestic machine from different brands we have brother we have singer we have Danum, and you know different brands out there you just look for the one that suits your preference and go for it so we have a tape measure here a tape measure is used for taking body measurements as well as for drafting patterns measuring fabrics laying out patterns on fabrics specifying the length of a garment checking the size of hems measuring curves and corners and you know so much more it is simply necessary for a seamstress or a tailor to have a measuring tape at hand in all honesty you can't have an accurate sewing without a tape measure so i have a detailed tutorial on how to read a tape measure i'm going to leave the link in the description box below you're going to find it very helpful pin cushion is a small stuffed cushion which is used in sewing to store pins or needles with their heads protruding to take hold of them easily and keep them organized pin cushions are so essential if you are starting a sewing project and they are very affordable this is one of the least tools people talk about when um, it comes to sewing tools you need but in all honesty this tool is very very important and one great thing i love about this particular pin cushion is that this can wrap around the machine or you can even wear it as a wristband this one is multi-purpose all right so i love this pin cushion if you want to know how this pin cushion was made let me know in the comment section below and i'm going to make a detailed tutorial on how you can have a pin cushion like this and of course you need some pins this is a multicolored ball pins this is one of the most important tools you can't do without pins are so essential if you want to start a sewing project so a seam ripper is a tool used to remove stitches open seams cut threads and open button holes a seam ripper is a valuable tool for anyone who works with needle and thread it is very very affordable i got this in a set of three like this three sold for one five as a matter of fact the need of a seam ripper can never be overemphasized so you might just need to invest in this it's going to worth every penny you spend on it what is the sewing project without a scissors this is like one of the most important tools you need to have at hand if you want to start a sewing project i love this one in particular because it is just very suiting for me it is lightweight and it gets the job done so you might need to get two of this one is going to work for your pattern and one is going to be for cutting the fabric proper all right so a pattern is a template from which the parts of a garment are traced onto fabrics before being cut out and assembled. Patterns are usually made of paper and are sometimes made of sturdier materials like paperboard and cardboard. I always suggest people should use um, pattern papers if they are making illustrations because it makes the job easy. When you make a mistake, you can always erase it and correct it before you transfer that to the fabric I have some marker pens right here you need some marker pens if you are going to be working on patterns this came in a set of 12 and it sold for 200 naira and this is less than a dollar so I think it is very very cheap like one of the cheapest things I have on this table so if you're just starting out I advise you start with a pencil because with pencils you can erase any mistake but with marker pens you can't erase it it stays there permanently but this one is very helpful if you're teaching people or you're making tutorials online so that people will see the lines you're marking clearly 
uh, Clover Wonder Clips. These clips are a great alternative to pins. They can be used to bind while sewing. I love this a lot because this can replace the use of your pin. So if you don't want to make impressions on your patterns, you don't want to create holes on your patterns, you can use, you know, clips. And it is easy to see and, you know, find when dropped on the floor. This comes in different colors. So I love this a lot. So um, a tracing wheel, which is also known as a pattern wheel, is an instrument with multiple teeth on a wheel attached to a handle. This is used to um, transfer markings from sewing patterns onto fabric with or without the use of tracing paper and it can be used to make slotted perforations. So tracing wheels are important if you're working on patterns and you want to transfer your lines from your patterns to your fabric or from your patterns to another pattern. It comes in very handy and it is also very affordable. So I have an awl here. This is used to puncture holes on fabrics or on patterns. If you want to puncture a hole, you will need an awl. What is sewing without thread? This is so important and it comes in different colors and sizes. So this is a piece of material that is so important when you talk about sewing, you can't do without you know, thread. This is very, very important. Hand needles are so important when you talk about sewing projects. There are some things you need to use your hand to do that you can't sew on the machine. It comes in different sizes. Like this one I have here is like the tiniest size. I use this to beat on dresses. I also have some other ones that I use to fold my dresses and do some other things. All right guys, right now I'm going to go over to my ruler. So I have a straight ruler right here. If you want to draw a straight line, tape might not give you that straight line, but rulers will help you to draw a straight line. And you can get a longer one if you have one, but this one came in a set. So I'm trying to show you guys all that I have in this set. So this curved ruler can be used to cut your pants. Um, if you're making trousers, you can use this to you know, create curves from your crotch line. And so I have this curve right here. This is an armhole curve. You can use this to create curves around your armhole or your neck area. So it works well for the armhole and then the neck areas. Um, this curve right here can serve as a hip curve. And so this one is versatile. I call this a pattern master because it has all the curves you need. So if you don't want to go through the stress of buying all these ones I've shown you, just this one will do the job. So if you want to draw a straight line, you can use this angle. So you want to curve your armhole, you need to use this place. It curves well. In all honesty, I use this to cut most of my dresses. So you want to cut your hip area, you're going to need to use the side. That is why this is called a pattern master. A tailor's ham or dressmaker's ham is a tightly stuffed pillow used as a curved mold when pressing curved areas of clothing, such as darts, sleeves, collars, Curves. Delos ham is very essential. It is one of the least things people talk about when you talk about sewing tools, but it is very, very essential. Now, for those people who like to pad blouses, you're going to need the Delos ham. It comes in very handy because that place is curved. So if you place it on the table without a Telos ham, you're going to have rumples around that area. So you need this Telos ham to have a neat press. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to teach you guys how to make a Telos ham. It is very, very easy to make. It is something you can do at home if you don't have the money to get yourself one. You can always make one for yourself. Telos chalk is a hard chalk used to make temporary markings on clothes or a garment. So this chalk marks a spot on a garment where a garment might need to be taken in or let out or mark the placement of where to place an embellishment making it easy to see the exact placement. 
and of course if you can get yourself a fabric marker it will be great fabric markers don't stain the fabric what it does is that after marking your lines on your fabric and you want to take it out just sprinkle some water on it and it disappears please don't use any marker you see on the fabric you need a fabric marker so if you must use um, markers on your fabric it must be a fabric marker if not please by all means go for it to lost chalk all right guys so this is all about it for this video let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video also let us know in the comment section below the tools you started with when you start your sewing project and feel free to share this video with your family and friends and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful all right guys leave any questions you have in the comment section below and i'm going to get to it until next time guys keep loving keep living i'll catch you guys in my next video bye